All right, my audience knows how much I care about amplifying voices who tell the kinds of stories you don't typically hear on the news. So for this week's essay, I turned the mic over to my friend, Colombian-American actor, producer, and storyteller, the amazing John Leguizamo. Okay, yo, I'm going to give you everything you wanted to know about Latinx people, but we're afraid to ask in five minutes, because I'm going to prove to you that being Latinx is a superpower. All right, how about this, y'all? That myth that we Latinx people just got here somehow is BS because we are the oldest ethnic group in America, after Native Americans, of course. And we've also been the largest ethnic group since the Spanish discovered America. Well, truthfully, we Native Americans discovered Columbus lost at sea. And Columbus was what? On a Spanish boat and spoke freaking Spanish. Plus Latinxers, we're indigenous, so we basically conquered ourselves. How about that for a twist? Because American history is very twist anyway. And we've been here for 500 years or plus because before that we were the great empires, the Inca, the Maya, the Aztec, and the Tainos. And we gave the world the most important foods the world ever had. The civil civilizations were saved and maybe with, with our corn and potatoes. Uh, we, we gave you chilies. We gave, gave the world flavor. We invented chocolate. But we are also the only ethnic group to have fought in every war America's ever had. And we are the most awarded in each and every single one of those wars. I'm talking about 10,000 unknown Latino patriots who fought in the American Revolutionary War out of a total of 80,000 troops. That means we were one in eight. Cuban women in Virginia sold their jewelry, their hoop earrings, their gold teeth to feed the patriots. General Bernardo Galvez had a ragtag army of 3,000 Puerto Ricans, Cubans, Mexican-Americans, freed slaves, and they kicked the British out of the South. Then on top of that, Juan Miralles raised $2 million for George Washington from Cuba, Mexico, and Spain to help Big GW. So we, too, are the sons and daughters of the American Revolution. And that's not all. Don't go away, because 20,000 of us Latinos fought in the Civil War, the North and the South. You know, you know how we do sometimes. And, and we had major heroes, Philippe, Off Officer Felipe Bazar from Chile, Puerto Rican, Lieutenant Augusto Rodriguez, the first Admiral David Fadergood, then World War I. 120,000 of us fought in that war with more great heroes. Marcel Serna, who saved this platoon in Germany while being injured and being shot at and got a Purple Heart. And uh, give us props for World War II, 500,000 of us fought. And we have more unsung heroes. Luis Gabaldon captured a thousand enemy soldiers by himself. Nick Lucero blew up two of Germany's biggest gun nests while maintaining fire over three hours. I'm not done yet and won't be until we're made whole. Gil Boskis saved 40,000 Jews from the Nazis in France and churches and they gave them asylum, 39,000 more than Schindler. How come he ain't got a movie? Well, you know why. And we've also experienced great atrocities in America. 6,000 of us were lynched, burned alive, and shot to death. Jim Crow laws in the Southwest said no dogs or Mexicans in public places. But our oppression is not as horrible as my black brothers and sisters or my Native American cousins. But we are also the only people whose language, religion, and cultures were totally destroyed. But here we are, thriving and contributing to America. We had $2.6 trillion to the GDP. We, our buying power is $690 billion. We had $215 billion to the US of A taxes. That's why being Latin is a superpower. Peace. John Leguizamo, you are amazing, and thank you so much for that. And as black folks who also fought in every single war, we stand in solidarity with you, my brother. Thank you so much.